Afternoon guys, Brush and Core here. So I thought I'd do a video today based on my top sort of five tips about painting six mil figures because I haven't really done any painting of note recently. Um, just not been feeling the vibe, uh, so I sort of haven't really got anything to show. And I have started on the artillery bits, so. There is stuff coming, but just not getting there just yet. So here I suppose are my five tips on how to paint six mil. Um, just a caveat, you know, I'm not the only person that paints small scales. This is just my personal opinion. This isn't uh, sort of the, the word of the law, as I say. Um, this is just what I think. So. Number five, expectation of detail. So this is just about uh, it's six mil and having a realistic expectation about what you're you're painting. You know, it's not a twenty eight mil figure, it's not a ninety mil seventy five mil bust. You're not going in there to do eyeballs and and stuff like that. Um, you're just basically trying to get the um, the, the feel, the vibe. Of the unit you're painting, or the the squadron, or the tank, or the or the whatever model you're painting at that scale, um, you're trying to get an overall sense. Because usually, when you're doing such smaller scales, it's because you're doing bigger battles. So, tip number four: washes. Um, people use washes all the time now. It's quite common, whether it's like the army painted dip or it's. Uh, Agrax Earthshade and non oil, or um, I use the the, the dropper bottle ones um, from Army Painter, and uh, they're really useful at the small scales because they're going to be the bits that are going to pick out your detail. You know, you whack on some base coats, give it a wash, and then um, you know pick out the bits that are coming up in a later tip um, about highlights and. That's really going to do a lot of the work. The other way they're really useful is go back oh, to this artillery piece. Is I is if you put them on. I'm going to focus. I'm going to focus. Is it? If you put them on over a um, light base coat, then it picks out all the details, so you can see where you're painting. Um, I know some people do that at larger scale as well, but it's really quite important, I think, at the smaller scale to see what you're doing. Tip number three size and shape so this is about when you're doing some sort of detailing uh, work on a thing on a model um, whether that's um, something like a, a bit on a, sh on a shako or um, a stripe on a tank or whatever on these small scales as long as it looks the right shape and it's the right colour and it's about the right size, you're going to get away with it. You know, it doesn't have to be exactly perfect as a detail. So if you're painting um, a, a lion on a standard on the 6mm figure, it doesn't have to be the right one. You know, you can just do it the rough shape. It'll be fine. People won't notice. Um, I had the same thing when I painted the wreaths on the flags for my... Um, uh, Scotch regiments, you know, it's a green half circle. It does, it's fine. Um, so, yeah, size and shape. As long as it's the right size, it's the right shape, it's fine. Number two, pick a colour. So, this is about going back to that thing about it. it's a mass battle game, you know, you're looking at hundreds of figures, you're not picking out individual characters like you would with like Dungeons and Dragons or skirmish games or stuff like that. Pick a main colour for the regiment. Pick a main colour for the for the figures you're painting. Work on that colour. Obviously paint the obviously paint the other colours as well. But if it's um, a red coat for Napoleonics, then you really want to make that red coat pop. If it's a Union troop for ACW, you really want to get the blue to pop. If it's uh, a World War Two early German, maybe grey. Um, but you see, is that one? main colour of the figure, you, that's the one that you really want to put the most time into. The rest of it's all just uh, framing and scene setting for the figure. And the last one is the three foot rule. 
three foot rule or 90 centimeters. Um, basically, yeah, a lot of people say this for other wargaming stuff as well. You know, like it's going to be on a table three foot away from you. You know, you're not going to see it. And the smaller the scale, you know, the, the more that's relevant. You know, you're not going to see collars, cuffs, boots etc on t on six mil figures um a face is a dot of flesh color you know that's that's all that matters you know as long as they're, they're the approximate color then you're fine um as long as you know you look at a unit on the field and go oh that's a unit of british infantry oh that's a unit of union cavalry oh that's some samurai you know as long as you know what the unit is looking at it just it's all, then you're fine um so yeah, so they're my five top tips. Um, you guys have a good one. I'll see you in the next one. And um, hopefully by then I'll have got some artillery painted to show you. Um, 